Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got a Timo one bag in to do. A uh, little bit of diamond painting, a little bit of Christmas, a little bit of all sorts in here. I honestly can't remember what it is. Uh, yeah, it looks like Timo have gone to uh, bags with Timo on again. Uh, they did used to come in the big orange bag, so you always knew what it was. And then the last order I got just came in a plain bag. And then I've got this one with bits of Timo on. Actually, this came in two bags. Um, yeah, I don't think they'd quite fitted it all in properly what in one, so they put it in a double bag for some strange reason. But anyway, let's see what we got uh, in this one. So I can see um, a diamond painting sticking out there. Uh, so we'll have a look at that. We've got all sorts. Let's see what else we've got. Christmassy bits and stickers. And I can't remember what that was and oh diamond painting <laughs> and oh more diamond painting more diamond painting than i thought and uh, little wooden things and more stickers and i can't remember what these are and oh a cutter <laughs> So this is my order. So uh, let's have a look. Practically type stuff over there. Diamond painting stuff over there. That's practically type stuff, I think. Uh, that's Christmassy stuff. So we'll have a look at that first. Uh, that's, oh, not quite sure what that is. And that's diamond painting. So, right, let's have a look at the Christmassy stuff. So I've been uh, looking around at these for a while. Oh, a couple of stickers there. Oh, look, great big robin. <laughs> so this is a uh, window clip. Right, so I've been looking at these for a while. And these are like these wooden um, decorations. Now, sadly, I have now seen that one company is doing these as diamond painting. And if I'd have seen them with the diamond painting... I would have got them but the to go like on the top of your um light switches and to go um on the top of your like your door frames yeah, i'll put a little screenshot in so you can see what i mean i've got two of the actually have i got three of them one was supposed to be for a light switch and then these look identical yeah they've sent me three things exactly the same um so yeah these they actually fit look together <laughs> i think i paid 180 something for one and two pounds 50 ish for another and you just clip them together look and it goes over your door frame so it looks like you've got reindeer and a santa going oh and uh, yeah we've got the stickers to go on them as well little stickers there so i wanted these out but say it would it's so sad if only I'd seen them as uh, the diamond painting ones. Yeah, but maybe for next year. But I just thought these were quite good. I've actually had this for a while as well. So, oh, and this one's broken. Look, oh, that's no good. This one's broken. Okay, so let's have a look at this one. And, yeah. Oh, and this one's broken as well. Oh, so I've got one that's okay. And two that are broken. And one that's got its sticker on it, even though I don't want its sticker on. Let's see if I can get that off. That's it. Right, yeah, this one's got a piece in it already. Look, that's come off. Where's that come from then? Oh, this one's bent there as well. Oh, uh, yeah, it's come off there. Look. Oh, dear. Anyway, they are a nice idea. I do like. But I had ordered one that went that way, then a mirror image of it, so I could have one at either side of the door going into the kitchen. And then I ordered one to go on the door frame um, going out into uh, the hallway. So, yeah, I did order three sets. Yeah, that's right. I did order three sets. But I didn't order one set and two broken sets. So, oh, are they? Oh, no. Excuse me, um, uh, they have sent them right, but unfortunately they're broken. So, yeah, one of them is for... <laughs> oh, dear. One of them is for the hallway. One of them is for the kitchen. And one of them is for the other side. So, yeah, I have got a mirror image. 
I'm just I'm not looking at it right, am I? So, yeah, if it wasn't broken, it'd be great. So we'll be taking pictures of this and uh, sending it to them. And I've got a broken antler there. But, yeah, so that's that idea. Okay, never mind. That's not a great start, is it? I think that's how it's just been squished in the uh, bag look. Yeah, with broken bits. But, yeah, quite a nice set, like MDF. Lovely idea, as I say, but just unfortunate that they have got a bit squished and a bit broken. Okay, Santa, we'll put you out of the way and put all your bits together. And that one's stuck on there as well. Get that off there. So, yeah, on the whole, I like them. I'm just sad that they're actually broken because they are actually right. And I'm just wrong. <laughs> just for a change. <laughs> So let's have a look at our big window cling sticker. So, yeah, and it's got a transparent edge. Oh, he's a little bit sticky. But yeah, I thought I'd either put him on the window looking in and out. Is it double sided? Can you see it on the other side? Yes, yeah, so it looks like we've got a great big robin sat on the window. Or I'll put him on the mirror. But I just, I didn't, you know, did I expect him? Yeah, I did expect him to be quite big. So that's set my robin for my window. Yay, we like that one. That one's success. So I'll have to take pictures of those with the broken bits. Oh dear, that's really, really sad. Never mind. I don't like getting things broken. It's always very sad. All right, and then these are to go above your light switches. So, yeah, I was thinking that I'd ordered the wooden ones, but no, I actually ordered stickers. So these won't be broken, will they? So you've just got a little Santa and a little Rudolph waving at you from your light switch. <laughs> Oops. Oh, they don't want to come out. Yeah, so are these? Again, yeah, transparent edges. So you'll put Santa and Rudolph above there, and then there's a hand for Santa there and a little... Uh, hoof there for Rudolph just hanging over the edge of your light switches so I thought they were quite cute so we've got uh, two in the living room so I thought oh well we'll have one on each I know I'm gonna have lots of Santas and lots of Rudolphs all over but that's fine I don't mind I'm uh, quite partial to lots of Christmas decorations as you probably know if you've been watching me for a while <laughs> so yay two Santas and reindeers Right, and then I actually ordered these in November. Um, so, yeah, never mind. But as you know, if you've been watching me uh, for a while, been following along, um, yeah, unfortunately, um, I was poorly in uh, November. I got that dreaded uh, bug that was going around, which was like a cold from goodness knows where that absolutely flattened me. And then hubby got poorly and ended up in hospital. So, yay, it's been just uh, a whole fun sort of November, December start. Uh, yeah, but anyway, so I ordered these for November and was hoping to use them on bits and pieces for November. But, uh, yeah, so we've got lots of little teeny tiny stickers, but it looks like they do cover all different genres. So let's see, what's the repeat on it? So that's the repeat there. So let's just take that off there so we can see that. And there is a lot on this roll. This is a big roll of stickers. Again, it was only a couple of pounds. Um, so we've got a slightly larger gnome there. And then we've got Christmassy and Valentine's. And ooh, that one looks like a, a sort of wizardy gnome, doesn't it? That one. So yeah, I just thought these were a bit of fun. They're nice to put on envelopes and things and decorating little bits and pieces so that's my little gnomes and then i actually got some gnome stickers as well because i was intending doing more giveaways and things and i thought oh well seeing as we're in november i can put gnomes in the giveaways but uh, unfortunately as i say best laid plans so i can use them as just standard ones um oh look at that one it's got a lady and a man all together there and uh, yeah it looks like that actually there's the, the duplicates of the ones that are on the uh, sticker roll there as well. 
so lots of gnomes so if you do receive a package from me uh, or a card or anything you are likely to have a little gnome in there somewhere oh look i like that one with the ice cream look upside down <laughs> excellent so that was those again only a couple of pounds i think i've spent all together i think it was 30 ish pounds it certainly wasn't uh, any more than that i say but unfortunately for whatever reason my internet's playing up my printer was playing up earlier and um, i tried to put in the black heading can and it just went everywhere and i'm just having one of those liz days okay so this is actually a paintbrush stand um you know when you do those uh, orders and you've put your order in and then it says, would you like to add this for, I think, £1.50 or 87 pence or some strange price like that? And I thought, oh, yeah, because, you know, as I'm doing um, sealing and things like that, using sealer or anything, I thought this would be quite handy for putting your brushes in. It is a, a paintbrush holder. It has got like um, a little drip tray at this side with your little uh, edges there to pour your water out from and then you have got your little bit there for drying other bits but i just thought this will be quite handy for putting your brushes on and then anything that drips will go in there so yeah uh, lime green so there was a pink one but i did think if i get lime green i'm less likely to lose it because it's like whoa look at me look how uh, strong a color i am <laughs> And then I've just got one of these uh, dinky little doodah cutters, which is great for wrapping paper, you know, rather than using your scissors. If you just get up your wrapping paper, it looks like a whale, doesn't it? Or, or a Pac-Man, whatever. Uh, yeah, you just get your bit in there and then it just cuts along from this blade here. So obviously be careful of the blade because it is sharp. It has got a little hole there, so I suppose you could put it as, uh, as a little key ring or whatever. But yeah, I just thought that would be quite handy. You just literally run it up and then just pull it along. Oops. Just pull along and it just cuts across like that. So great as safe wrapping paper. You do need to have things quite taut though, otherwise it just rucks everything up. Now these I think I got for my washi tape. And I've ordered two, so I think possibly they must have been on special offer. Um, let me just have a look. They're like ribbon storage. Oh, goodness me, they don't want to come out of this box. <laughs> or, I say, washi tips. Oops, or even stickers. So, let me have a look. Um, does this come out? Oh, yes, it does. So... If you get that the right way around, it looks like that pops out there. And then you can put your stickers in there. Okay, and then just twist it round. And then you can just pull your stickers out and just cut them on there. Well, that's quite good then. Again, I think they were only a couple of pounds. Quite a sharp edge, actually. That's metal. I was expecting it to be plastic, but that is actually metal. So that's quite nice. So that's useful. And as I say, I got two of them because I have got quite a lot of washi tape um, or ribbons or whatever. It won't be any good for putting ribbons on here, but any sort of uh, tape or sellotape. And actually, this would be quite nice um, for if you've got smaller rolls of like your Christmas tape because you can put more than one in there so you can swap between the two different ones. And I've got my other stickers there. Yeah, I have. I've got some Christmas stickers here, look as well so let me put all of these in here together yeah, do this while i'm thinking about it so yeah you can get both lots in together oh that's good so i've got christmas stickers that i got on my uh, last um timu order and then i've got my gnomes as well so they're all nice and done and but, uh, yeah i quite like that that's uh, quite a handy little thing something else to put up out on my desk Oh dear, so I'll pop that one over there. Right, not quite sure why I ordered this. I think I thought it was a wreath and it's actually a picture. Mm, must have been one of those late night add to basket things, you know, when you're just thinking, oh, well, I'll do an order and I'll just add that in. Again, I can only think it must have been a very, very silly cheap price for me to uh, order it. 
albeit I was ordering it for uh, sort of November and uh, it is pretty I mean that's very very pretty it's all sunflowers and everything so very autumnal so maybe I ordered it to go on my autumn displays uh, it's a 30 by 30 so it'll be a 25 by 25 oh, look they've sent me their bit of uh, uh, rubbish again seem to like doing that <laughs> I always get the rubbish bit let's give this a flat and down oh dear uh, it's nine different colours and gems so it's a special drill Hey dear, can you tell I'm tired? <laughs> Everything's going to pot. Alright, so pen, boat and wax as standard. I might have even ordered this one as a giveaway to be honest, but anyway, I'll keep it for now because it's totally out of season and we'll see where we end up next year. <laughs> Okay, let's have a quick look at these gems. So we have a lovely yellowy gold and an orange and a little bit paler orange and a very, very bright ruddy orange, lime green, some teardrops in silver, some marquees in red and then your gold semispheres in a medium size and a smaller size. So it's going to be a very, very pretty one, as I say, but yeah. In hindsight, not quite sure why I ordered it, but there's a lot going on between now and then. <laughs> oh, kiddo. So at least we did get a diamond painting anyway. It's not all bad. Uh, then I ordered this because actually I've not seen it on any of the sites. And I thought it was just a little bit different. It's a Christmas tree with it, all the decorations already on it. I think this was round about the seven-ish pounds mark. It's very thick, actually. It's got a nice thickness to it there. Um, your like MDF wood and your nice little base there to pop that in. Once it's all diamond painted, will it go in? Yes, it will. But yeah, I just thought it was a little bit different because it's the tree, but it's got like Santa on it and a little like raccoon and the present at the bottom and a teddy and a gingerbread house and oh dear i think that's supposed to say merry christmas but that says merry christmas in a different language i think uh, and then we've got baubles and a little snowman oh he's a very happy snowman uh, a little girl actually i wonder if it's maybe dutch or finland or somewhere looking at the hat on the little girl and then we've got a train at the top i can always cover that over anyway i can put something else there no i'm not even going to try because i'm no good at other languages <laughs> I'll maybe put it in Google Translate and see if it can pick something up there. So again, a pen, boat and wax. And then let's have a look at these gems. But yeah, I've not say, seen this and I just like the fact that it's like a decorated tree with all Christmassy bits on. Okay, so we have uh, in standards, a silver, gold and uh, like an amber colour. And then we're red and black and bronzy colour and a couple of greens and an aqua blue and a purple and that's, is that silver? We've already got a silver, is that another silver? It's that one, number 11, no, number 3, so one of them must have a colour on it. Oh, I think that might just have a very pale pink on it actually. Yeah, I think that's very, very pale pink looking at it again. Uh, marquees in silver and then your larger gold semispheres. So, yay, I like that one. So, as I say, it was a little bit different and I've not seen it on the sites. Quite possibly I've not seen it on the sites because it's not got English on it. <laughs> I can maybe do Merry Xmas or put something else over the top there. I suppose I could cover it all in the green, although that would look strange. So I might have to do something with that and cover that over. But whether I'll get it done this year or not, 
uh, quite possibly not because I've got so many projects and I'm so far behind. And basically, I've lost like nearly three weeks um, for my Christmas preparation. So, yeah, everything just went to this year. Never mind. <laughs> and then my final little purchase is just, would you believe, some more coasters. Uh, yeah. So, pen, boat and wax again. Uh, but these are the cup ones. I have got some cup ones, but they're all different colours. But these, uh, the cups and mugs, are actually sort of more already colours. So, again, I was hoping to get these done as Christmas presents, but possibly they will go for next year now. So, we have a little cup with a Santa on. We have a mug with a gingerbread man on. We have a cup, a little round cup with a snowman and cherries on top. Actually, no, it's holly, but it does look like cherries on top. We have uh, a little fat round mug with another gingerbread man. Uh, a Santa outfit, a little uh, sort of mug there shaped. Oh, look at that one. That's obviously a hot chocolate. I think that one with a big dollop of cream and a face. Oh, if that had a face looking at me, I won't be able to drink that. <laughs> And then a very Christmassy little round mug. And another gingerbread man in a, like a mug cup. So how many did we get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight different ones. I think these were on offer. I think this is why I put the order in, albeit they are a little bit smaller. Um, but I suppose if you did them in the round... Yeah, they probably yeah, would be that. There's no stand or anything with them. But I think they were just under £5. £4.72 or something silly like that. Or £4.86, you know, one of those numbers. Um, and I just thought, oh, well, for that price, they're good. And again, you can always use them as decorations. You could just put a bit of string on them and hang them up. Um, or, you know, even just put a little uh, sticky on the back and just stick them on the wall or whatever so they're very very cute but yeah so that's my little set you can buy the little stands and um, to put all your coasters in separately but uh, obviously these have come without one so let's have a quick look at these gems Lots of red, because it's mainly a red colour, and all the different ones, and lots of silver. So, two big bags of your lovely clear silver, a little bit of a yellowy gold, and a little bit of a honey gold, a little bit of green, and your standard black, and then one, two bags of your cherry red, and then your darker red. Oh, we've got a hot pink, yay, hot pink, and then a very deep brown colour. And then an ambery, orangey colour at the end. So, yeah, yeah, I just thought these were quite good. I say it was the price of them that drew me to them. I thought, oh, they're a good price. I'll have to get those. And then I saw the Christmas tree and I thought, oh, well, a Christmas tree. Um, and then I ordered the other bits and pieces as well. But why I ordered the picture with the sunflowers on, I don't know. <laughs> Answers on a postcard, please. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you remember in those days before mobile phones where you had to send your answers into places and uh, post your votes uh, actually using the actual post rather than just using texts and apps and all things like that gosh I don't know how anybody ever got uh, won any competitions doing it that way but they did well, uh, a little bit of a mix, as I say, for a little bit of diamond painting. We've got three nice little Christmassy diamond painting projects. Uh, a little pen, a pen stand. Well, I suppose you could use it as a pen stand, but mainly a brush stand so you don't get water dripping on your desk. And uh, these are very handy, actually. I'm very pleased with these. These are handy. That's not locked in properly. Let's turn that that way. That's it. So it's locked in. Uh, good for the little stickers or whatever you want to put on there. And as I did get two. And then I shall be putting my uh, stickers in with my other stickers. So if I say you don't get anything from me, it's likely to have a no minute with it. Uh, my little light switch stickers. I don't remember ordering two of those either, but obviously I did. So I'll be putting those on my light switches and my little Christmas robin on my window. And then I'll be letting them know about my little broken ones. But 
uh, yeah watch out for the diamond painting ones as i say if they do come into like general release um on some of the shops i deal with then i will definitely be getting them but it was you know when you get these adverts on facebook and things like that then uh, yeah it was sort of on there that i got uh, the notification about that okay well just uh, a little unboxing video of some little team old bits and pieces and um, they have asked me to be an affiliate and i've said no don't want to um they have they did sort of like send me um a link to get some money to get some products and uh no i don't really want to go down that route i'm quite happy just buying what i want when i want really from timu um so yeah there are i don't know whether it's scams or not but i have had quite a few emails from people um with english names but with foreign email addresses um saying oh we'd like to pay you to uh promote timu and actually wanting your bank details so they're obviously scams and i've just blocked all those um so yeah just be careful if you are a creator that you don't get any of these um timu things so it was just a little bit it, they were different from the standard you know where you go through and you you add your um links and everything and if people use your links then you get money off and everything uh, they were just a little bit different they were direct emails to me um and saying oh you know we'd like to pay you and all this and as i say i do think they were possibly just a scam to get my bank details and uh, i wouldn't want to be paid for um I w you know i'm not giving out my bank details to anybody so <laughs> okay well uh thank you for watching if you've enjoyed looking at these with me as always a thumbs up is very much appreciated any comments or questions in the comments down below i'll get back to as soon as i can and if you would like to join our little family and see what we get up to next then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up You'll be notified when any of my videos come up so you're not going to miss anything yay okay thanks ever so much for stopping by and i do hope to see you all again soon bye for now